Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. A near-perfect combination of boxing ability and technique. Few guys have been able to hold up when it comes to this guy's boxing acumen, and he'll be trying to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. And what really has helped him is his ability to defend takedowns. It discourages his opponents from shooting on him. Right. So then they are forced to stand in the boxing range. No one manages distance better. No one understands getting in range and in out of range better than this guy. And the moment you're stuck there, you are a lame duck. He is going to find you. He's a sniper. The jab always lifts the chin. The right hand follows. And if you are able to withstand that, you got to watch for everything coming after it. And I love watching him land that beautiful left body shot as he ends a lot of his combinations. Yeah, and we talk so much about his offense, but his defense as a boxer, right? The head's never oh, on the center John, line. It's almost like his head's detached from his body. Truly a sight to behold. We'll see if he can put forth another shining performance here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce. The Dragon Lee! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Big! Okay, protect yourself at all time, will be my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. gets underway and you hate to call any fighter on this UFC roster a specialist but on one side you have a definite striker taking on a true 5-2 and you see a guy as a striker who knows exactly who he is he knows where the fight needs to be he knows what he has to do in order to be successful let's see if he can keep his opponent off of him well perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there Nice kick landing by this gentleman. Good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Oh, really using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. Good punch. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. He is all about that left kick to the body. Edge of your seat action as expected so far. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. And he landed the right hand there. Oh man, head kick land. 
That is a stiff jab. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Head kick. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Oh, and there's a land with the kick, so certainly a good sign for him there. When that's working, you know he's in for a good night. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Oh, nice. Nice punch lands over the top. All right, single collar tie now. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. And they separate. And look at those weapons. Look at how he uses his knees to the body. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relativity. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Big kick. Right punches there. Vicious kick to the outside of that lead leg. You gotta start checking these, you got man. You to check these kicks, or you're gonna be limping around the octagon very short. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. Very nice outside leg kick by him there, DC. We'll see if he follows it up here. He's really driving his shin into his opponent's tie. Beat the leg up. Big punch from the clinch. All oh, collar tie. Lee's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. He's back in the clinch. Let's see what he does now. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Oh, and there is another knee, and that has certainly been the primary weapon of choice for him here tonight. He has inflicted a ton of damage to his opponent, and a lot of it courtesy of those knees. Back and forth we go. Big punch, man. Oh! He needs to start looking at the finish now, because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, really? Oh! is there. Knee to the body. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Oh, there he goes, attacking that lead leg to the outside. Nasty kick there. Nasty leg kick. You gotta slow down for the He knew the one one to move a lot tonight. This is the first step in getting him to slow down and fight at your pace. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Big, powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Round one winding down here. Big head kick lands. Well timed knee to the body. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. All right, a lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. Man, that was awesome. You really hurt him at the end of that round. He is not going to recover, okay? I want you to go out there this round, and I want you to... Block that kick to the body. Good stick. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. And he continues to work the body here. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. He's very quick when he throws that body kick. I mean, this guy is really focused 
on those punches to the head. Some fighters don't check a lot of leg kicks. That one was checked. Big punch lands through the middle. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. That's a big strike right there. Oh, nice job to land the straight punch there. Must be nice to have that kind of reach advantage, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Lee's lower jaw very swollen now. Time to bite down on the mouthpiece and move forward. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Oh, nice. Single collar guy. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Oh! He's out! Wow! Wow! <laughs> I'm not sure if that's the way he drew it up, but a huge result for him here tonight as he gets the win by way of knockout. And that's about as good a one-strike finish as we've seen here in the UFC in recent memory. I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, so a big, big win for him here tonight. So there he is as the celebration continues. A huge knockout for him here tonight. That could hold up as one of the better knockouts of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest. At two minutes, nine seconds of round number two, declaring the winner by knockout. Yeah. Right, so there he is, the man of the moment, celebrating one of the bigger knockout victories of his career. And that would be nice sometimes with all the hard work that you guys put in when it goes down exactly the way you drew it up. A lot of people talk about doing certain things. It's harder to deliver on those promises you make to the public. Tonight he did exactly that. Congratulations.